T-Dragon here. Daryl. I got my son Daryl here with me today. Got my dad T-Dragon here. And we're going to tell you about what we like and what we dislike about each other. I like you. I love you too, son. Dude. Yeah. You're such there's, a good son. There's some things I don't like about you, Dad. Well, whatever. Don't t don't fill in my face or I'll punch you in the face. What? Things I don't like about my dad are things like the fact that he's Asian but he doesn't have a chili ball haircut. It just disappoints me. He's gonna be Asian. You already told me this, son. Remember what happened last time? He's gonna be Asian. He needs a chili ball haircut. Also, he really, really, really. Uh -huh. Another thing. He needs to quit telling me to be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor, Dad. Quit telling me to be a doctor. They're gonna be a marine biologist or something. Make some money. Yeah, I don't see what you're trying to do staying here and doing that good old school education system. I like marine biology. Hey, I like that about you, Dad. You want me to be a marine biologist? I like that. My son, I don't really like walking into the bedroom in the morning when he's in his bed. That's really his mom's job to wake him up. I don't like waking him up because there's just things I just don't want to see. But Dad, I don't have a mom. Well, there's things I don't like about my dad either. Like the fact that he's Asian, that just pisses me off. What? What, what Dan? I'm sorry, I don't like Asian people. I mean, go in your room. I don't know if it's your skin color. Go, go, go in your room. Or your, nose, nose. your eyes or your bad driving. It's somebody that I don't like. I think you need to leave and go in your room right now, son. I'm a grown man, I don't listen to you, I'm 17. Alright, leave! You don't need to be a part of this household? Okay, we're not going to talk about what we dislike about each other. Let's talk about the things we do like. Like my dad here. I like him. Because <laughs> he's Asian. Oh, son, he's such a good son. Asian, just like my girlfriend, Asian. You know, Asian girls love my white boy. Hey, hey, hey. Best thing about him is that he's just so cute. Look at his nice haircut. He got his nice haircut done by my dad. So, dad, is there anything you like about me? Well, son. I think you're a great. I, I, I like the way you make A's in class. Oh, but, yeah, it's a but, but you, you've kind of failed the last six weeks. So. I'm a bit disappointed, but but hey, you got college. Yeah. You got college. You got any good scholarships, son? Well, I got the scholarship now. Not yet. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. We're here to talk to you about environmental wildlife and reservation safety. So, now, I got some woods out back, and there's always deer roaming around. And every once in a while they come in my garden, and it just makes me angrier than a wet hornet. I tell you what. Uh, I mean, I plan to make some vegetables out there this summer. Got me some tomatoes, some lettuce, some corn. Oh man, corn here. Yeah. Oh, you know that song about the, the corn and the whiskey and the rain is a good thing? That's a good song. Anyways, and the peppers and the and the and the and the tomatoes and the onions to make the hot sauces. Yeah. But then deer come out of the woods and they tear up my tear up my, my land. And it makes me angry. Angrier than a wet hornet. We just need to do something about preserving them and keeping them where they are. I roam around the city around the city folk, it's not good for the city folk. And you keep them in the woods where they belong. So, my plan is electrical fences. So what do you think about this wildlife preservation and all this? Well, personally, I don't think the deer's the problem. I think I think it's in the grass, because the grass gives the deer some energy. And if you go, but then, you know, even further, it goes to the sun. I think the sun is the main problem. It's causing all these UV rays to destroy the earth. And you know, before we know it, in about three years, it's gonna be so hot that we can't even- Are you out. talking about that there global warming? On the news, they call it climate control. Climate. Well, I think the climate's under control because the sun keeps under control because the sun lets out the UV rays and the plants soak it up and produce energy, which gives it to the deer. You're right! See? You're the right. sun's the problem. So what do we need to do? I was watching this movie and they had this 
this this giant circular um, robotic planet, and they called it like the Death Star. Death Star. And like what the Death Star did is it went out and destroyed other little planets. So if we could get one of those, we could destroy the sun. This sun like this big, you know? Right. It's a bit too hard. I didn't be able to shoot away from YouTube, but I don't think the rage is on the map. I think... Um, I don't know if anyone's ever tried to shoot the sun with a gun before. I wonder if it'll work. I might just nail the bullet, because I hear that sucker's pretty hot. I, don't, I personally don't think so. I mean, you know, we reproduce heat, heat as humans, so, you know, all the heat isn't coming from the sun. It's coming from, you know, all of these people and their bodies. True. and their So now, what are we going to do without the sun? Do you think we'll freeze today? I think we'll be fine. I mean, it might be a little dark for a while, but we have electricity going on. Right. We, we well, so, what's the Earth going to do when it doesn't have anything to orbit around? Oh, wait a minute, the sun orbits around us, not us around the sun, I forgot. Hey, I love. For some reason, I'm thinking about Galileo and his theories, but he's stupid anyway. He's dropping two balls at the same time in different ways in the ground. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, we just don't have anything moving around us no more. We'll have the moon still, but we won't go and see it without the sun. How are we going to go to the moon if we can't see it? Oh, well, who cares? Now a big difficulty I have with my son is it's not as much as just telling him what to do but every time he comes home from school he, he always asks strange questions like dad why am I the same like everybody in school and you're not I'm like why, does I, why do I have white skin and you have yellow skin now to answer these questions it's very difficult to tell him sometimes that we're not exactly the same. I mean, he has my blood. Don't get that wrong. Me and him are, you know, like two sticks in a pie. Very, very, you know, relatable. Yeah. So what I end up having to stop living in. So what I usually have to end up doing to tell my son is that, well, his mom is Indian and I'm Asian and he's white. It doesn't really make sense, but somewhere in the gene pool, if you mix up Indian and Asian, you'll get white. It just makes sense, you know. Stop zooming, zooming, stop, stop. So, okay, we got this equation going on. Okay, Indian right here, we got Asian right here, equals, you know, the equals a white person. Now, now, the good thing about that is that that explains why white people are like a majority in America and Europe. Because everybody knows Asia and India are large populations, but nobody knows where these white people come from. So obviously, that's where they all came from. Like all these Indian people and all these Asian people came together. They made the sweet, sweet babies. And they all just went over in Europe and populated that whole continent. And they went to America, stole their land, had more Indian babies with half, half bloods. And it was all good. So it, it's very difficult to explain to a one-year-old like Daryl how, how this all works out. Ugh. Gosh darn it, I just swear, being a kid sucks. I mean, my dad, suck. he's the suckiest person ever. He, he sits here and tries to explain to me how he's Asian and my mom's Indian. And it doesn't make sense. It just drives me insane. I don't know. Because I'm white. I don't know how. I mean, I guess I have the Indian nose and then my skin is just like kind of reddish. I, I guess. But, you know, once he grew up into two years old and then I had the other Daryl. You know, he started really grasping the idea of just being white. Kind of like reddish tannish. Well, that's from the sun, from the yellow, yellow sun. Yellow sun, red skin. All the colors of the sun make white. So when the sun hits the red, yellow sun hits the red. I get it. Okay, anyway, but still, my dad sucks. He's always trying to tell me to be a doctor because I'm Asian or half Asian, whatever he wants me to do because he's a doctor and everything. And then, I, mean, I don't want to be a doctor. I want to be a sponsor for V8. V8 V Fusion. Pomegranate, blueberry, 100% juice. Something else I don't like about my dad. His driving is just darn terrible. He needs to learn how to drive better. And also, He's one of the most redneck people I've ever Wait, I like rednecks. Me and him are rednecks together. I love my dad. Me and the kid sucks. I don't know what to do. Usually I just turn to my Texas leg or maybe my V8. Because V8 better than Texas leg. 
I just think doing ads is just such the wrong reason to just do anything. I mean, yeah. if you're doing it for the money and not the love, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's like you're going to use someone else's product to make money and not make love, but when you stop hating make love, not stop hating make ads. That's stupid. It's just so stupid, and I'm just so thirsty. Me too. I've had so much V8 in this yeah. video, I can't drink it all. Yeah! <laughs> Stop hate. Make Jet lag! Wait, wait, no. Just I kidding, got, bro. Right, wait, Daryl. Wait, Daryl. I got a new one. What? You do this. You do this. You say, Peter Parker it. <laughs> Peter Parker it. Wait, I, I, want, I want to shoot the screen again. Remember last time when Bing Bang. P. Drag! I've been missing this time with y'all, I have to be honest. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate the love and all your fancy doings. Look at this weirdo. <laughs> ah! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> what is the video? No, that's gay. And you alone. Please give your loving heart to me